People of Hay, I speak in May 1990. It is a time of siege. Despite five towns in Europe and the USA copying Hay, and the future perhaps containing 30 or 40 book towns of several million books, partially supplied and inspired by Hay around the world, there has been a desperate and vicious attempt by the Development Board for Rural Wales to grab the name and fame of the town of Books. The rattlesnake, we all thought was asleep on the rocks, has shown that it can bite. At the Hay on Wye Festival of Literature, funded by Rupert Murdoch and the Development Board for Rural Wales, a bureaucracy set up to help Britain's poorest area, but in this case, subsidising its richest man, a string of socialist intellectuals, ranging from Roy Hattersley to Margaret Drabble to Arnold Wesker to the Red Wedge of the Miners' Support Group, are all prepared to perform, to give credibility to Thatcherite bureaucracies and Murdochite sponsorship. People of Hay, government agencies are agencies of government policies and should not be trusted. Well may the new Green Party of Brecon and Radnor proudly announce that they are the only radical party with intellectual integrity, and well may we in Hay proudly join in and support them. The book trade, likewise, generally indifferent to the minor irritation of the Hay Festival, know also that living in a rural area, the real attraction that could support the book town is the traditional rural economy, but it is being slowly strangled by red tape. Everything from free-range eggs to home-cured bacon to green-top milk, even down to watercress, are slowly being made uneconomic and, indeed, often illegal to sell by absurd regulations. Is it more important that we revive and cherish our production of food or the Weagles to tell us what interesting books they are writing? Why cannot they be interested in the millions of books in every language they already have in Hay. Somebody indeed ought to tell the intellectuals what actual culture really is and tell the organisers we do not sell new books. In second-hand books throughout the world we can be competitive. In new books we are dependent upon grants, subsidies, the wisdom of the bureaucrats, the sponsorship of the Sunday Times, a million words of mumbo-jumbo nonsense with a mass superstition of what a wonderful thing the Hay on Wye Festival of Literature is. I plead to the people of Hay to support the ungraded egg scheme. This is a real priority. Free-range eggs are one of the desperate survivors of the rural economy. But now, for the first time in a thousand years, we will have farmyards without chickens. Do we really want this?